Hey guys, welcome back. And for those of you who are new, I am Abhishek, and I am currently a third year medical student at Bangalore Medical College. And I just started a series on how to pass first year of MBBS, dealing with all of the three subjects of first year of MBBS, and how to progress through within the last month of the final exams. So in my last episode, I discussed about biochemistry and how to study biochemistry and how to make the best of your books. And in my first episode, it was on the basic introduction. So in this episode, we'll be going over the physiology that is uh, the books also seem bulky and uh, some of the students will also skip some of the topics. So we'll just discuss in detail on how, how to deal with physiology in terms of the last month preparation for final exams of first year of MBBS. Let's get into it. So from the start, starting, whatever books you might be reading, you might be reading Gaitan and all or the commonly read that is JKPA or some of you might be reading Sambalingam as well. So these are the three most common textbooks that are read in terms of physiology in the first year of MBBS. So in this episode, I'll be comparing with the physiology of JKPA. So we have two volumes of the JKPA. So this is an older volume and there's newer edition. You have this only one single edition of JKPA. Uh, so I'll be going over through the topics. So make sure you watch it completely so that you will understand what are the important topics you need to study and how to deal with physiology. As I told you, you'll have two papers, paper 1 and paper 2, 100 marks each. And out of those 100 marks, 90 will be theory which you should write and last 10 will be MCQs. And uh, the portions will be different for both the paper 1 and paper 2. Okay? And in each of the individual papers, you have to get minimum of 50 marks. Total aggregating of 100 marks out of 200 marks. Okay? And uh, to be eligible, you should get 40 marks in at least each of the paper okay this are this is what you need to remember moving on to the contents as i have come to know the for the paper one uh, you will generally have just confirm with your college as well so for paper one uh, we will have general physiology followed by the blood and immunity and we will also have git followed by the <coughs> i guess renal system with the cvs as well as the rs so that is cardiovascular system and respiratory system so the maximum marks carrying in the first paper will be uh, so cardiovascular system i i guess 25 marks the marks and the contents of paper 1 you have to verify okay this is not confirmed just i'm telling you cardiovascular system i guess it's 25 marks followed by you have a respiratory system 20 marks followed by git 15 marks and blood and immunity 20 marks as well as general physiology 5 marks so you need to understand these are all the mark distributions and what are the main important topics for paper 1 we have we have the blood and immunity followed by cvs as well as rs okay comprising of all of these uh, only three uh, sections or topics will get it will uh, account for total of more than uh, 50 to 60 marks leaving aside of the mcq so 50 to 60 marks will are maximum from the respiratory system cardiovascular system and blood and immunity so now you understand that in the paper on what you need to focus on you need to focus on blood and immunity cardiovascular system as well as a respiratory system and uh, out of those uh, 10 marks will most likely to come from cardiovascular system followed by the blood or else uh, might, might be from the jt as well okay make sure these are the important topics uh, go through the RS questions from the Singhi Etheraj, uh, in Etheraj book that is uh, I don't have here I kept it in the study room so Singhi Etheraj book it compares of all of the uh, most repeated questions of physiology RS3, RS4, RS2 whatever okay and it just mentioned there that these are the most repeated questions so make sure you follow that so whatever topic I, I have discussed make sure you go through all of the important questions of these sort of the topics and uh, Finally, you will be ready to write the exams. So, if you are in the last moment and uh, if you want to skip uh, some of the topics, so if, if you, you know there is no time left and you just uh, want to know what all you can do, you can do general physiology, it's just 5 marks and uh, that's it. Okay, remaining uh, rest of it you need to uh, work hard and study. So, this is what are the important topics. Moving on to the paper 2. For paper 2, we have the maximum marks distribution is from the central nervous system neurophysiology and it comprises of 35 marks, followed by we have the endocrine physiology of 20 marks followed by your reproductive of 15 marks and remaining special senses and normal physiology the easiest ones are special senses that is vision ear and everything followed by normal physiology okay these are all the easiest subjects in the paper too and the most important one is cns central nervous system it comprises of basic introduction sensory system motor system and the hypothalamus you have the limbic and higher functions so in the paper 2, to pass paper 2, mainly you have to focus on studying of central nervous system. It comprises of maximum marks, right? So, you will get maximum out of paper 2 from the CNS. Followed by, you have to read endocrine physiology. It is important as well as carrying the second second best, that is the 20 marks. But then lastly, you can study the nerve muscle physiology, reproductive system 15 marks as well as special senses. So, for paper 1, as I told you, you need to read blood, CVS and RS, followed by GIT. In the paper 2, read CNS 
endocrine and if you want you can read normal physiology with the special senses as well so these are all the most uh, marks carrying uh, subjects uh, then if you want to leave in the last moment you can leave integrative physiology it comprises of eight marks and uh, most of it you can write on your own about the basic homeostasis so this will be about the physiology on what all the important topics from out of both the, both the papers and what all the important topics you need to study okay so and uh, most importantly for physiology you get, will get a uh, uh, lot of new terms which you will not understand and uh, you have to go through you have to revise more frequently and uh, when you'll be presenting in the paper in the final exams make sure to present it in a flowchart way all right you are uh, you don't need to write all of the paragraphs that you wrote in 11th and 12th all right in this final exams you need to write in terms of flowcharts okay whatever topic it is whatever the questions that they might ask make sure that you are representing it in six to eight lines uh, six to eight lines and each of those you need to down arrow and uh, you need to create a flowchart and the same thing you can explain it in the uh, other side of the paper right so this is what how, how you need to present in the physiology and all of the important topics and uh, again the warning don't switch over books if you are studying zikapal don't switch over to Sambalingam or whatever book it is okay what all the big books you have been studying since from the start make sure you stick to the same book and also revise as much as possible make sure you need make sure you have studied the main important bulky topics that have the maximum marks in each of the papers so that you will be on the safer side and followingly if your time is left we can switch out to the rest of the topics which are not studied even once okay still one month time is left and uh, if you are feeling like some of the topics you haven't gone through you haven't even studied for even once still time is there study but uh, don't try to study any new topic in the last two to three days before the exams okay the last two to three days you need to only focus on uh, revision of all of the important topics that I just told you. So this is about physiology and I hope you got some information regarding that and uh, this is what you need to follow in passing of physiology in the final exams of first year of MBBS. Thank you for watching till the end and uh, make sure to subscribe and uh, I'll be coming up with the next episode that is the most important that is anatomy. Okay. Thank you guys. Bye.